DXFeed offers full depth data for both US stocks and US futures, as well as Eurex, ICUS, and CFE. You can take a look at the different combinations offered by DXFeed right here. In this video, we'll cover how to connect to DXFeed for stocks and futures using Bookmap 7.3 or greater. Note that the stocks and futures are different subscriptions, meaning if you subscribe to DXFeed stocks and you want futures data as well, you'll need another subscription for DXFeed futures and vice versa. After you subscribe to DXFeed, open Bookmap and choose simulation mode. In this mode, the data is live, but any trading activity will be simulated within the bookmap environment. Choose trading mode if you want to use DXFeed and trade through bookmap with your funded trader station or interactive broker's account for stocks only. Note that you'll need a subscription to bookmap global plus in order to trade from bookmap. For now, we'll choose simulation mode and click OK. First step is to establish the connection to DXFeed. Let's click on Connections, then Configure, and Add a Connection. Then, in the Platform drop-down window, select DXFeed. No credentials are required. Bookmap already knows you subscribe to DXFeed. Click OK. Let's go back to Connections and select our new connection. Now that the connection is established, the next step is to add an instrument. I'll go over both stocks and futures instruments. Let's start with stocks. Click on the plus tab, select DXFeed as the platform, and start typing in the symbol. I'll type in TSLA for Tesla and hit subscribe. I have a subscription to DXFeed futures as well, so let's add a futures symbol. Click on the plus tab again, select DXFeed as the platform, and for the symbol, type a slash first, then the contract type, the month, the last two digits of the year, colon, X, and the exchange. For example, slash, ES for the E-mini S&P 500, M for June, 23 for 2023, colon, X, and CME for the exchange. And hit subscribe. If you have further questions about how to type in the symbol, click the link above for a detailed video.